Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. This is going to be the last video in this series. Uh, this is, uh, I think, the 10th installment. Uh, this filter here, which is the uh, reverse flow under gravel filter in a hob with a planter aspect, and that really, really does need a shorter name. Uh, but anyway, it has gone up against all the other filters, and it is the fan favorite. This is the one that has made it through all the others. It has one more contender to go through, though, and that is going to be uh, the new version for the leak-proof canister filter. I've uh, finally got most of the stuff done for it, and I'm going to show it at the end, and we're going to go through its numbers. But before we get to that, uh, I just want to show you, I'm going to first prune this, and I am actually going to take some of the prunings, uh, place it back into this filter, which will help uh, bush it out more. And also I want to put uh, one or two of these pieces uh, up into uh, the new filter. So just, uh, I'm not sure it's going to stay there. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but I just want to put a few plants in there to, just to get it going. And we will see how it flourishes. And it has its own light system, of course, and everything, so uh, it should do quite well there. So if no one has, you know, done this before with a aluminum plant, uh, there are actually really quite pretty leaves. Uh, it is very, very easy to propagate this. Just cut it anywhere, prune most of the leaves off, because it is difficult for them to reroot uh, with too many leaves on it. But uh, actually, it'll, it'll just do it anyways. It's not really that big a deal. And then, as you can see there, the one on the left, uh, I think I put two in there, just uh, poked it down into the gravel. Uh, and you can see how the roots on the right have just bushed out. Uh, that's all it's going to do. It's just going to fill up there, and it's going to <laughs> end up growing up. Anyway, you, you can't kill that plant. I mean, uh, as long as it's got water, it's fine. So I'm not going to give you any numbers for this filter, obviously, because you've seen it many times before. Uh, it's very good. Uh, it hasn't had any issues. I think I mentioned once that I had to clean the pump, but that's not a big deal. So this is the filter it's going to go up against. I've added a few plants now, and as this video progresses, there's a couple more things I want to do to it. Uh, but we're going to actually, the most important thing here right now is to uh, give it some numbers. But before I get to that, this is the tank it's filtering. You can see it is still uh, quite green, uh, but I wanted to show you this. If <laughs> At some point here in the, in the next few seconds, I am going to crimp the air hose, which is causing all those bubbles. Uh, and just look kind of mid-screen, slightly to the left, uh, you'll notice there's a bunch of little wigglers. Uh, the OB convicts, uh, last time they showed up here, I showed you they had a batch of babies. Well, I'm not sure what happened. I think they had a disagreement or something. Anyway, they didn't, they ended up eating the babies. But these ones here are pretty close to free swimming, and I just wanted to show you guys it just before, you know, just in case. So this is the tank that I want that filter to clean up. So now that it has to, it has a big job ahead of it. So let's get on to the numbers for this filter. Now, there are a number of ways I could have done this. Uh, this obviously is not the original uh, format for this filter. It was originally in a four inch round uh, PVC pipe, uh, but it doesn't really change anything. Of all the filters I've put together since I started making these videos, the leak proof canister filters are the ones that have caused the most confusion. Uh, a lot of people don't know how they work. And since I put it in a square box on top of an aquarium, uh, there's those who don't even think it should be considered as a canister filter. And, and technically it's not. I mean, it's uh, both versions, really, for that matter. Uh, the one with the round PVC piping, uh, for at least visually, people didn't have an issue with it being called a canister filter. But as a square box, uh, that seems to have changed a little bit. But none of that really matters. They're both exactly the same. Besides the fact that there's plants in this and not in the other one, and the fact that we're going to be able to watch this as it matures, uh, they're identical. They're exactly the same style of filter. So anyway, let's not, let's not dwell too much on semantics. Let's get down to the numbers for this filter, and then we can compare this to uh, the original, uh, if you like. Uh, I'll probably put a few things in there, the differences. Uh, I don't think it's really going to affect the numbers a whole lot. 
but I will try it where there is a difference, uh, I'll uh, point that out. So first up for this is biological filtration capacity. And this is where it is at its best. It has both aerobic and anaerobic filtration, though uh, the anaerobic does take a fair amount of time to set up, and we're talking like a few months, uh, closer to six sometimes, depending upon flow and load and all that other stuff. But that's really not relevant. It will set up, and the nice thing about it, uh, I'm, though I'm getting a little ahead of myself, is once it is set up, uh, you never have to clean it, so it will stay there. So biological filtration, uh, it has a slight advantage over all the other filters I've made so far. It is right up there with uh, undergrowl filters and my favorite filter, which didn't make it this far, but uh, those above tank planters, the high humidity ones, uh, it's in that kind of category. And because I've added plants to this, it's adding another dimension again on top of that because the plants will absorb nutrients and again, of course, uh, stabilize the water. So the most I've given so far for uh, biological filtration capacity are eights, and I think this actually does deserve a nine. I suppose I should give it a ten at some point, but I'm going to stick with nine. I think that's uh, a fair number for this style of filter. Next, of course, is mechanical filtration. And as far as mechanical filtration goes, as you can see how the water's flowing through this, it is really not a mechanical filter it will do a small amount of it and that's about it and that's fine it's not meant for that uh, this it has a specific job to do uh, so mechanical filtration uh, because it is a passive filter i'd have to get a fairly low mark it will do a little bit of it so let's give it a three for that because like i said it's not meant for that style it's not meant for that function you could obviously change this easily to have that kind of uh, filtration capacity, but it's not really necessary. I've run these as sole filters on large tanks, and the tanks are clear. So <laughs> that says an awful lot for it. Uh, next up, of course, is cleaning. And I've never cleaned one. I've run these now. I think the oldest one I had running continuously... Uh, it was over 15 years. I think it was around 17, maybe 18 years. I don't really remember because I never really kept track of these things originally. Uh, the client eventually moved, uh, and I took it down, and I took it apart. And, yeah, it was a dirty filter, but it worked still. So, uh, cleaning-wise, this gets a 10. I mean, there is literally nothing that ever has to be done to this. There's no moving parts except the water pump. And water pumps are a separate issue I've been keeping uh, out of it uh, right from the beginning. Now, this one here is a bit of an unknown, and I said I would cover that. The original canister filter on this uh, never had to be touched. This one, because it has plants in it, uh, there is going to have to be something, I suspect, but because that is an unknown right now, I'm not going to penalize it for that. So it's uh, we're going to leave that as a 10, just because I, I don't think I've ever given one up for that. Uh, it's a very good filter. And last up, of course, is uh, commercial viability. Now, obviously, the original I've put on commercial tanks. I actually still have some on commercial tanks. Even with all the issues I was having with water pumps there for a little bit, fortunately, I've, I've managed to find one that's uh, <laughs> taking care of that. But I still have them out there. And... With this, I'm, I don't want to spoil stuff that's coming up, but I have uh, I've checked in on a couple of my freshwater tanks and one saltwater tank that have this style of filter on it, and they're actually doing a lot better than other tanks with other styles of filters. Uh, but that's all coming up in the future. Once once I get everything up and running, I'll take videos and do all that sort of stuff. But anyway, this particular version may or may not have commercial viability because it is obviously got seams uh, it won't be leak proof uh, but again it does have an aesthetic value the other one obviously doesn't i use it in uh, like 
underneath and stands and stuff. You never get to see it, which is perfectly great for it because it's an ugly pipe. <laughs> but anyway, so this, whether or not it has commercial viability, who knows? Uh, it may or may not ever come up. Uh, depends on if anyone ever even wants one. Uh, people seeing these videos, I do show them to prospective clients. Uh, I am going to I actually have noticed I've, I've put some playlists. I'm going to probably put together a playlist specifically for clients. And then I'll probably put this one in there as well. But then again, like I said, someone has to choose it. And then I have to use it for that, for it to get, you know, that sort of thing. So I can't really give this a really high number for that. Uh, even though the original version is very good, it has its uses for sure. It's not obviously great for everything. I wouldn't put it on a high load uh, African cichlid tank. But again, it's, it's definitely a good filter. I'll give it an 8 for this. So there you go, you have the numbers for uh, both the filters. Uh, none of that matters, of course. You guys get to pick which filter you think is the best, and in an upcoming video, I will record those results, and then we'll have a final winner. So this ends this series, which is always on Sundays, uh, so I have to come up with something new for the Sunday slot. So definitely let me know what you think. If you have some ideas, uh, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I will uh, definitely get to doing something along the lines for Sunday. So next Sunday, I'm not sure what's going to happen just yet, but we'll figure something out. So if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.